Greg from Balloon Market here and welcome to BMTV and we are once again joined by the Bowtie Balloon Guy, Mr. Rob Driscoll. Rob, hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm all right, Good. how are you? Yeah, what what bowtie was... have you got on today? Uh, I can't remember what I put on, what is it? Is it cats? It's, it's got cats on cats it. Cats on it, yeah, yeah. So the cats, cats on it. So. And, and cats and flowers. Very, cats and flowers. They go well together. Very nice. Yeah. I've come yeah. as a deck chair. I, I so. like it. It goes with the theme today. Oh, yes. what theme are we going to do? Yes, we're going to go for, to the beach today. Okay, so, so excellent. So the deck chair will be perfect. Excellent. Well, yeah. we'll get to that in a yeah, second. So that's fine. what's been happening with you since we last met? Well, I've been I've been quite busy. I'm back to work, which is amazing. Back real work. Real the work, work that you do. Real live shows, which, yeah. is, which is amazing. I've done a few shows now. so Fantastic. So, so yeah, it's all, all really happening. So I'm really pleased about that. So yeah. Yeah. yeah um, so yeah, I'm doing doing quite a lot of a uh, excellent bits and do, doing some um, um, online work as well here and there. So you know, it's going well. What kind yeah, of online yeah. work? Do you um, yeah. So the last big project I've done, uh, I've been working for Nickelodeon. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, they they saw my work on TikTok, and uh, uh, approached me and uh, asked me to do some stuff for the Paddington TV series, which oh, is coming out. Brilliant. I think it's season two or three. I can't remember what. Um, so I created some videos for for Paddington, really. Fantastic. So I've actually been working for Paddington. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That, I, I have to focus on the fact that you were discovered through TikTok yes, yeah, and you got a corporate yeah, job. Absolutely. Yeah. So if anybody is wondering yeah. about the validity of yeah. TikTok, yes. that, there you go. It works. Yeah, it works. And, yeah. and once you've done that, so that's Nickelodeon. Yeah, there. Nickelodeon, yeah. And they're in all likelihood yeah, going to yeah. think, what, what hope, else could we use, Rob? Fingers, cro fingers crossed, you know, the, um, the, the, the company that dealt with it all, they deal with all sorts, they deal with the BBC and all sorts of other amazing uh, big so, companies. So, so it's through a, a company yes, that deals yeah. with Nickelodeon yeah, and yeah, all. so yeah. there's opportunities Fingers left, crossed, right yeah. and centre yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. But yeah, I was, I'm, I'm quite pleased, you know, Paddington's, Paddington's got nearly 60,000 followers on his Instagram, so it's like there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's another, you know, another avenue there, so it's like, you know, it's yeah. hopefully... Uh, I love oh, that. Doors, I'm yeah. just really excited that it was through TikTok. Mm. That is brilliant. It's amazing, isn't it? I know for, for ages uh, using TikTok and things, uh, you think, oh, what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Suddenly it all becomes. Yeah. It comes the. Um, oh, you said you did it yeah. just last time, yeah. just because you enjoy doing because it. Because I enjoy doing it, yeah. Suddenly there's a reason for doing it, isn't there? Yeah. So, um, so I'm really pleased. I've always that. thought it's going to be good for you because your job is doing shows, entertainment. Mm. And if people can get that feel yeah. for you from yeah. there. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He really knows what he's yeah. doing. Oh, my yeah. kid loves, yeah. you know, yeah, seaside so. themes or whatever. Exactly. So, yeah. That's brilliant. It's been, oh, well, well done. Works, Congratulations. Yeah. Good. That's, that's yeah. fantastic news. Anyway, um, let's... Yeah, let's let's go to the beach. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, well, I thought I, I mean, last. Uh, I know we've done other themes before. I thought as it's summer, um, I thought of a few things which could be added to a beach themed. Okay. Uh, uh, if you're doing a beach themed like display, um, so a few smaller things that could be added. If you yeah. know what I mean. So, so these uh, are these are all. I mean, when you were in last mm, time and you did the Carmen Miranda that's thing, right, yep, that was yep. very fun. Um, that was obviously it could be wine, it could be fruit yep. and veg, it could Absolutely, be whatever, yeah. whatever yeah. you want. And these things are great for you. Don't have to be a twister no. to, to be able to do these. No, they're all very simple. And but they things. add to, yeah. to decor. You can use them as uh, centerpieces, as yeah. weights for bouquets, yeah. as all of that sort of stuff. Absolutely. So I guess yeah. these are yeah. similar in a way. You can add value to a, exactly. a bigger piece. I did a um, I did a big display for a swimmer friend of mine. Uh, it was her fiftieth birthday, and uh, I put some little swimmers at the top, and then going down to the bottom on the sea floor, I had crabs and and uh, shells and fish and all sorts yeah. of things so you know yeah. and, and they really added value and the thing she said was she, said she spent she you know she, for days on end after she would look at it and see something else yeah. oh look have you seen that one then and, and yeah. you know and she'll keep seeing new things and yeah and it's just gives a, a, um it's not just about the, the moment of when you get the the balloon it's about the time after when they see extra things it yeah. makes it last longer yeah. you know absolutely, absolutely. It's, um, it's really it's cool great. yeah Okay, so, well, yeah, so, so, so what are we going to do at the beach? We, uh, we've, got, we've got these little shells which we make. Um, these are made of two balloons, so you can either have them multicolored like this one, or you've got the normal yeah, yeah. color one. And uh, Mr. Crab, so there we go. Excellent. Um, for a fun little character. Yeah. Uh, very, very easy to make. Um, so should we start with, um, well, let's start with the crab, because he's actually the easiest. Is I, it really? I think he's the, he's the easiest, yeah. There's a little bit more. Because looking at it, you'd think that was more complex. Yeah, but... yeah. Uh, I think he's easiest, but then that's, you yeah. know. It's all easy for you, Rob. Well, not really. <laughs> um, now, where's my balloons? I've got them in my pocket. Here, so I'm going to do the crab in orange. 
uh, okay. so you don't get mixed up. Uh, it's just two balloons, and then I use a scrap of balloon for the eyes. Uh, you can use a fresh balloon if you want. Um, so you're going to need two two sixties, and I've blown this one up to about that long there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's about five fingers left uninflated on the end. Uh, I never really measure properly, but... So what colour are these? Just these are orange. Normal orange? Yeah, orange. They're, they looking, look they're looking very colourful under these lights, aren't they? They are, yeah. They're nice, they? um, Now, the first things you do with the, these balloons is the same with both balloons. Uh, because it's a mirror image, mm -hmm. you, just, it's the same, you just do the same thing with these balloons. You're going to start this balloon here with two pinch twists, and that's going to be these two pinch twists here okay. on his hands, claws. Uh, then we're going to do his claw, so we're going to do a big bubble, which I've done about four fingers, and then the second bubble I'm going to do smaller, and you can see how much smaller I've done that. And what that does, it gives you that nice claw shape, like that. Oh, yeah. right. And now I'm going to come down to his arm, and then a pinch twist, which is basically the base of his arm here. His shoulder, shall we say. I'm sure crabs have shoulders. Do you want to do this one a bit slower? So I can do, everybody yes. Everybody can see it. Yes, so th th this is the two pinch twists. So what you've done there uh, is just do two bubbles. Yeah, two bubbles, like that. Uh, I'm going to tie them together at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to twist them in opposite directions, and that gives us okay. our pinch twist. Like that. This is the forefinger bubble for the top of the claw. And then again, a smaller bubble, which is going to be the bottom of the claw, like that. Perfect. And now we come down to the arm and uh, a pinch twist here, which I'm going to turn into mm -hmm. like that. And uh, as you can see, it's, I try and keep these the same just to keep it as symmetrical as I can. Yeah, yeah. Um, a few subtle differences is not a problem, but that's it. So you can kind of see now, if yeah. I hold that there, it's kind of, you can see the, how it's going to come together almost, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so the, the thing I usually do next is his legs. And yes, I know crabs have six legs, <laughs> but this one's having four. Okay. <laughs> um, six legs and two arms, I think, isn't it? I can't remember. Um, so it's just a bubble and a bubble. So again, you're going to do this with both balloons. Bubble for one leg and a bubble for another leg. Mm -hmm. And that's his legs, as simple as that. We do the same with the other one. So two bubbles. I've always liked the way you rotate your balloon yeah. too and twist in it. I, um, I heard someone uh, give it a name. Uh, I don't know if this is the official name. Uh, I'm sure they call it tension twisting. Okay. And uh, I, it's, you're basically, it puts less brush pressure on the balloon. Um, uh, I'll try and show you. It's a, it's a hard thing to get your head around. Yeah. But um, It just looks slick as well. It looks slick and it's quieter. Yeah. And it does put a lot less pressure on the, on the, on the balloon. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can show you. Um, so the next bubble we're going to do is body. So there's four bubbles for his body. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be bubble number one. And now this twisting technique is, is, all you're doing is you're twisting the balloon. Um, this twist here is going to be joined into the pinch twist of the other balloon. Okay. The other balloon. So you're going to put this in here. And uh, I'll see if I can show you this technique here, if I turn it around like this. Um, I'm going to use this balloon here to do all the work for me. So if I twist that, I can guide this balloon yeah. to go the route I want it to go. And it does oh, wow. all the work for me. I don't have to pull, I don't have to stretch. It takes all the pressure off, yeah. off your fingers. It takes all your pressure off the balloon. Um, it's a much easier way like of Like I say, it just looks slick. It looks you like there's, yeah. there's, there's, it's magic. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's such a nice way of doing it. And it's, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm now going to go back. Same size bubble. And again, I twist that around there. So that's his body so far. Mm -hmm. We're now going to do uh, the, um, the other two and his eyes. 
So this one's going to come to here. And then back again. Yeah. And then you should have enough left over now. You should have enough left over to do the bit that holds his eyes. All right. If you haven't, add in another balloon. It's not a problem. You know. I'm going to get rid of this one here. I don't need this anymore. So uh, all of these eyes, if I turn this around, you'll see um, it's, a, it's a bubble with a pinch twist and a bubble at the back there. It's nice and simple. Stay there. So there's the bubble. Then I'm going to do a pinch twist. I'm going to turn it into a pinch twist in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to bring that down to here first. Three bubbles to start with. Yeah, so there's those three bubbles there. Uh, I will at some point get rid of that little bubble there, but mm -hmm. it's fine at the back for a minute. Uh, I'm now going to pinch this into a pinch twist. So if you didn't see that, all I'm doing is I'm pulling those together mm -hmm. and then I'm going to turn this bubble like that. And that is going to be holding his eyes. I'm just is that the only purpose of that? Is to yeah, hold the that's all it does, yeah. yeah. I'm going to push this down in, into his body. It kind of makes his body a bit fatter as well, which yeah, I quite yeah. like. It gives it a bit of, bod bit of body. Gives yeah. his body a bit of body. <laughs> and uh, all we need now is a piece of balloon for his eyes, which I forgot to get out. So we're going to get a bit of balloon. I've got one here. So on that one, I just used a bit of ivory. But mm -hmm. I've got here a white balloon. And this is just going to be two pinch twists. And the way I make these ones are I'll make a bubble and another bubble. I'll tie them uh, into a knot. And then I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to twist these like that. Yeah. So it's two pinch twists. Same way I did the... the um, on the claws, the yeah. on the claws. Just make sure it's tied in so it doesn't come undone. And then all you do is you add this to that pinch twist. I've lost one of my pinch twists, but... Oh no, disaster. Saved it, saved it. Let it lie, but that's fine. Get rid of everything behind there. That's so cool. And all you need to do now is just pop his um his uh eyeballs on and uh Yeah. You can do that. Then I'll get a pen. That's just a normal sharpie. Normal sharpie, yeah. There's one. Like that. So cool, so simple. There we go. Love it. So I'll put that down there. So yeah, so it's a nice little um, thing. You've got attachment points here if you want. Yeah. Or at the back of the arms and yeah. it's a nice little thing to, to show off. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. Excellent. So we move on to the shell. Oh, he's not standing up there. No, I know. Stay. If I do that, look. There oh, go. there you go. They can hold there hands. Go. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Excellent. We move on to the shell. Yeah. Can I make a pause? Yes. To change my plaster. Okay. <laughs> Is that all right? Absolutely. We're going to have a break here. We'll be back in one moment. And we're back. I'm not going to tell you what Rob was doing. It's not very nice. Anyway, we're back. Everybody's wondering that. That's good, I know. D yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> what was Rob doing? Okay. So, we're on to the shells now. So anyway, yes, uh, these shells. Now, they're made of two 260s, two balloons. Um, and you can kind of see the, uh, the two balloons here, because I've done them in slightly different colours. Yep. Um, which I quite like, the different colours. You know? um, I've actually made these two shells slightly different. This one's got a bit more of a curve to it, mm -hmm. because I've made the underside uh, slightly smaller. Okay. But I'll go through that. We're going to make the normal one. And I'll describe how to make that. Okay. It's very easy. Um, it, it's basically just lots of bubbles, really. So yeah. we're going to start at the bottom here. And uh, we're going to make... I'm going to move Mr. Crab out the way. Is that okay? Right? Yeah. Just so it gives us a bit more uh, space. Stay, stay there, Crabbies. So you need your 
two 260s, so I'm using pink ones for this. And we're going to start off with uh, these bubbles here, which are two, there's two, one on each side, pinch twists. Mm -hmm. um, this one is displayable both, both ways, if that makes sense. Uh, so here's bubble number one, pinch twist. Uh, I'm going to make these into two pinch twists. Uh, same way we did the crab claws there. So there they are. And uh, I'm going to twist them together like that. And then I'm going to turn these in opposite directions. So this one I'm going to hold like that and turn away from me. Mm -hmm. And this one I'm going to turn towards me. So that is the start of our, of our shells. So mm -hmm. That's that bit in there. That. Uh, we're now going to do these bottom bits. And this is going to be two loops. Okay. Two smallish loops. It's just a loop about that big. Like that. And then another one the same. Like that. So you can see that that is now kind of where we are. Mm -hmm. I've done okay. those loops a bit bigger, but that's, that's fine, you know. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to start off with this central section here. Um, now on this one, actually, what I did was uh, I matched the, the, um, the bottom with the, these two side bits. So it okay. depends on which bits you want, what color will depend on, on a, how you want to make it. I've just noticed one of my pinch twists has gone down, so I'm going to remake that. As I say, I was watching TV the other day, and I don't know if you've seen any of Gordon, Gino, and Frank doing their tours. I, I haven't. Uh, I've, I've, I've seen um, the clips of it. And things, quite but, amusing. Anyway, yeah. they were um, diving for, ah, for scallops. Yeah. Have you seen how quick they move in the water? No, no do they fast? Yeah, you imagine they, just they, they, they and... just squirt the water out, and they move all over really fast. You don't imagine that, do you? No. <clears throat> so anyway, so I'm going to make the central section. I, want, I don't think these will be as, as fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've made this one about uh, seven fingers roughly in, in length and I'm going to come straight back down and do the next one. Like that. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's our central section. At this point I'm running out of balloons so I'm going to add in the next balloon. Let's see. Like there we go. So here we go, second balloon. I'm going to add that into the pinch twist at the bottom. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do these size sections here. Okay. Um, what I tend to do is I tend to do the small one first, and then I can do the middle one in between the two. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do the small one, which is about four fingers. And you can see how much small that is there. It's not a great deal smaller, but it's enough. And then the next one, you want to be halfway in between the length of that one and the length of this one. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's go. I think that's about quite a bit bigger, I think. About there. Look. So the more you make these, the more you'll get to judge yeah. the length and everything. So that's one side of our shell. Yeah. Like that. We're now going to do the other sides. And uh, because you've got these here, you can use them as a measurement. So I'm going to bring this around to here measure the same like that. Now what I've realised I've done here is I haven't blown my, my, blown my balloon up long enough. But oh, that's not no. a problem. So what are you going to do? I'm gonna, is, is there a Rob solution? There is a Rob solution to it. So there's my shorter one there. That's going to come out of there. Um, I'm going to chop the end off and blow it up a bit more. Uh -huh. So. Um, that's why I love these balloons because... Is that, are they fish scissors as well? They're fish scissors, yeah. Oh. They become, become themed. Oh, brilliant. Like themed, you see. It's good stuff, isn't it? It is. I have people wanting my fish scissors. <laughs> that they're... I've got cat ones as well somewhere. Oh, right. Yeah. I've just put nice. a bit more air in that. And now I'm going to make the replica of these ones here, uh, which you can either measure against those ones or judge it. I think I can judge it. That's my pinch twist from. So I can replace that pinch twist. That's the second pinch twist I've got to replace. Luckily I've got enough balloon left over. Yeah. And I can get rid of the end. Now if you straighten this out, 
you'll end up with uh, get this the way around it's getting this all lined up correctly really so that's how we're going to be so you've got the smaller ones on the outside middle ones there longer one in the middle we did two loops at the bottom pinch twists on either side what we're going to do we're going to pull all these together so they come like that all right. okay and the way to do that is normally if i if i hadn't have popped that balloon in, you'd have a, a, a spare piece of balloon but we're going to Add, add a piece of balloon in, uh, which is no problem. And uh, I'm just going to add it in as the same color. And what you're going to do, you're going to run this around the edge here, basically to pull them all together. Ah, right, I see. All right, so if I pull this nice and tight, mm -hmm. I'm going to run it up so it sits in between those two yep. bubbles there. And just to make sure it's secure, I'm going to uh, run it over and through the gap and up the other side. Yeah. Just make sure it stays it up, won't come come undone now. Okay. I'm gonna push it up to the next one, over and through. Before you uh, uh, put, it, put it up, you can yeah. make sure it's tight that way. So you want that to be as tight as possible? Yeah, it's not too tight. You want a little bit of movement there. Okay. Um, because if you pull it all too tight, it will all end up going over okay. one side. But um, you can manipulate this around once you've, once you've done it, so it's not too bad. Next one up, it's going up to the top there, mm -hmm. and then through. Next one, up and through, over and through. And the last one, and you can see how that's pulled those nicely together. I might just pull that last one in a bit more. And then to finish it off, you just pull that down to the bottom and wrap it round. Like that. Love it. And there's our shell. So right. simple. Now what I've done with that one is, is that one side of these bubbles I've made slightly smaller. And what that does is that gives you a bit more of a curve. Yeah, yeah. Curve over. It also hides the joining oh, yeah. balloon okay. a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't think it's too much of a problem. Not at all. Have that there. Um, that's quite a nice little shell, isn't it? It is. Like you say, yeah. if you put that onto an arch or a yeah, yeah. piece of work, yeah. just tie that on. You, it's you just wouldn't even notice. Little that, elements, yeah. little elements which, which adds to the um to the thing. I'd probably what I'd, if I had a bit more time I'd probably pull those together a bit more and just yeah. fiddle with a bit more and yeah. get into it. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Little shells. So there you go. Seaside theme. There you go. That's brilliant. Cool. Rob, thank you so much for taking us to the beach. And um, as a guest on BMTV, and I'm sure you have one prepared. I do. You get to ask I do. the yes. question of the week. Yes, so this is something. I, so I, I, over the last few weeks, like with Paddington, and um, uh, I've done a few other ones. I, I've recently made one for the new Pixar film, Luca. Oh, wow. Um, um, Hey, it's just a name dropper, isn't it? I am, yeah, yeah. No, but that was that was my own choice. That wasn't okay. that wasn't for them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I that, see. That, that was just me making. You know, I see. Um, I really like making fictional characters. Yeah. Out yeah. of balloons, you know, and it got me thinking. Um, if there was a fictional character that I could meet, so my question is, which fictional character would you most like to meet? Right. If if you could meet any fictional character, which one would it be? Who, who would you meet? Uh, I, mine's weird. <laughs> 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 I'd want to meet Columbo. Who is? If you don't know Columbo, he's a he's, he's a, awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to meet Columbo. He's a 1970s, 80s TV detective. Yeah, I've seen it. I've got every episode. I, I love Columbo. One other thing. One other thing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know about that. Yeah. it is one other thing. That's it is what one, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. One more thing. Yeah. One more thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Rob, yeah, thank, thank you question, as yeah. always. That thank is you. fantastic. Love the crabs. Love the shells. Um, it, it's brilliant. And thank you, everybody out there, for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you've not subscribed, please do hit the little subscribe button, hit the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. And while you're there, why don't you go and give us a follow on Instagram, balloon underscore market one. And uh, yeah, watch the sort of stuff that we do on there as well. Right, that's it. Thanks. Stay safe, stay happy. See you next time. Bye. Bye.